Hey everyone, welcome back to Tins Tinker Time. I know it's been a while, but I had a few things that I wanted to share with you today. Um, some diamond paintings that I got from a different company this time. And, um, of course, you can already see the first thing, so I'm just going to jump into it. The first thing that I got was this little brush. And this is for um, when you're finished with a diamond painting, that you would brush this over and it kind of picks out any loose dirt or hairs or whatever you might have gotten in it. Um, especially good for the round diamonds. So I wanted to try it out. Now this, it's pretty soft. It's not very stiff. I have seen um, where other YouTubers use like a stiffer brush and that seems to work pretty well. This one is a little bit softer so I am going to try it out and see but I thought it was cute and it was only a few dollars so I figured why not. And these things all came from the website GBFKE and I will link everything that I can still find. Um, in the description box below for you to find on your own if you're interested in anything. I saw this company a few times on um, another diamond painter YouTuber, which is GB Maltese, and I can link um, to her channel below as well for you if you want to check her out. She always has all kinds of different things, but she gets a lot of her... Um, she has gotten a lot of diamond paintings from the company, so I wanted to check it out for myself. They are reasonably priced, which is nice. So it's not super expensive stuff like, um, you know, Diamond Art Club and some of the other companies can get a little bit pricey, whereas this one's a little bit more affordable and they have a lot of different options. So we have a few packages here, so I'm going to get into the first one. I did open them just so it would be easier to get into for the videos. Um, now I will tell you, there is a big thing about copyright and artists and paying for the work and that kind of thing. So I'm not telling you to buy from these places. These may be, um, you know, not licensed images. I don't know. I didn't do the research on that. So that's something that you're worried about. You may want to just do your research, you know, on the paintings before you get them. So I just wanted a disclaimer. Oh, this is so cute. And I believe all of these are round diamonds. Okay. Um, so this come with the diamonds here. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, it came with two toolkits. The pretty basic. It's your green boat your pink pen, um, and your plate of wax, but it did come with two, probably because of the size of this image, but the, your basic toolkit, there was no baggies or multi-placers included. Oh no, whoops. So this one is, um, and it says 80 by 40. Um, now that's going to be the whole canvas size, so the image itself is probably a 75 by 35. And you can see um, it is like Belle and the Beast, so it's a Beauty and the Beast image. Because of the size, the detail is not going to be quite there. Like you can see Lumiere and Cogsworth here, Belle and Beast. If you stand back, it's one of those where it's it's going to be pretty pixelated. There's the castle here. Something going on up here. The like tree. So with this size, um, the detail might not quite be there for the image, but we will find out. It always looks different too once you put diamonds on it. But I'll try to get this closer here. That's the image for you. Um, it is a pour glue, so these are all considered pour glue. It is the regular, you know, plastic, like, canvas, so we can pull it, pull it back. I like to pull on them just a little bit to help straighten them out. 
If you pull the plastic back and put it back down, it helps kind of um, flatten it out a little bit. So it's not wanting to roll up, which this one's not wanting to roll up too bad. The canvas itself, I mean, looks pretty good. So we'll take a look. Um, there was no inventory sheet or anything, so all you have is your key. So there is one on each side, so the top of the left and the bottom right. There's 24 colors in this image, which is pretty standard, I think, um, for something like this. It doesn't have, so I'll get closer here and show you. The symbols themselves, get close enough so you can see. There we go. The symbols do look pretty clear. Easy to read. And there's there are round drills and they don't have that little circle around each symbol. Uh, which is kind of nice because sometimes if those are too dark, they sh they show through if you don't get the drill placed, you know, exactly in the center. So I do like that it doesn't have those dark circles around. Now, I know um, Diamond Art Club does do that, but theirs are light enough to where it doesn't cause um, that much of an issue with that. So let's go ahead. It is a cute image. It's a little bit smaller, which I knew the size when I ordered it. Um, th they didn't have, you can't choose a size that you want. So the image is the size that they say it is. So you can't choose, you know, a different size or a larger size. So for this, I think if they would have went just a tad bit bigger, th the details would have been better. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and open and we'll look at the diamonds here. So, plastic noises, warning. Because I do have, so I have three all together um, that I wanna show you. I'm not necessarily gonna take these out of the package. Um, but you can see all the different colors in there. I will pull out, let's see if we can find. So number one is 310, which is black. So that's where you're gonna find the most. Okay, so they don't have, I'll just write this one on here. So the bags have the number, like this one has a one. It does not have the DMC code. So the canvas has the DMC code on it. The bags of diamonds do not. They just have the number that corresponds. So that's a little odd. Um, the drills don't look too bad. They're a little bubbled in the middle. If you can see, they're kind of dented a little in the middle, some of them. I've never necessarily had an issue with that, um, but just so you know. I just wanted to show you those. And then you can see the bag, it just has the number one. That's not a big deal. Um, Cause you know, when you kit this up, you can put whatever works for you. You know, some people put the symbol, some people use the DMC code. We got some really pretty um, yellows and some pinks, oh, lots of brown, gray. There's a purple here. Really pretty purple color. So the drills don't look bad. And those, you know, you normally always have extra, so I'm not, it doesn't look like I'll run into an issue with that. So let me get this one rolled up here and we'll get into the next package. I want to get through and show you all three that I got from this company here. Let's get into the next one. They're all a similar genre, if that tells you anything. But they're not all the same size. This one is the same size. So again, we have our 
drills here, round drills, two tool kits again, same, this one doesn't have as much wax included, but same green boat, two pens, so your basic kit there, set those over here, oh this one's cute, I like this one has a little bit darker imagery, it is a knight, lift this up here so you can see. So oh, there's the image. Um, again with this one I think a bigger size might get more detail in it. Um, this one is an image of Cinderella so you have you know her carriage down here and the horses and then her um, running down you know the palace steps so you have lots of greenery and flowers. Same with the symbols. The symbols look good and nice and clear very sticky so that's not going to be an issue it also does not have um, the dark circles around the symbols but the symbols look very, very clear on this one as well so very easy to read I don't think that will be an issue at all um, this one does have 23 colors same thing with this the DMC codes on here but yeah they're not on the diamonds same with the symbols on both ends and it also is the 80 by 40 so it'd be a 75 by 35. We'll open this up and look at some of these drill colors. Oh, we got some pretty colors in there. Some greens and pinks. It's really pretty pink in there really pretty purple, some blues, some other deeper colors, greens, a real nice like yellow, some mauve colors. These ones seem, these, I mean the drills look good. I don't see a lot of you know, knobbly bits or trash drills. The only thing I can tell from the drills is there does seem to be a little bit of indentation in the center of them, but I've, I've had that before. And it's not been an issue at all. So there's the second one. So pretty though, I love these images. And I've wanted to do them for a long time and I've seen them on there. Um, I don't remember exactly the price. I believe they were 12, 11, 12 dollars a piece. Um, and it was buy two, get one free maybe at the time. I will link everything down below if you want to check them out yourself. Um, or just check out their website. They have all kinds of different stuff. They had a lot of, um, like special drill type of things which is what GB Maltese does. A lot of, she usually gets some of those special drill things. They have all kinds of that stuff. But I wanted to go, I finally, I saw these images and I wanted to do them for a long time. So I wanted to, I figured to try out the company, pick something that I've been wanting to do before. So let's go ahead and get into this last package here. And you know, I should have four of these. There are not three, there are four. I bought four at the same time. Cause it was buy three, get one free. I knew when I said that it didn't sound right. The uh, fourth one was not in my pile, so I will, will locate that. So here is this one. This one is the same size as well, 80 by 40. Um, the same toolkit, green boat, wax, and your pink pens. And I got two. So it must be with the size of the image they send you. This two, the two kits. Same. So this one is the Sleeping Beauty. This one has 24 colors as well. Oh, very sticky. It's one of those where almost too sticky. <laughs> where you have that sometimes. 
um, where it says sticky, once you place the drill, you can't move it. And most of these are going to have, um, there are areas where it's like color blocking up here, but most, the other two and this, they're mostly like the, what they consider confetti, which is a lot of different colors in a small area, but symbols, again, very, very clear, very easy to read. And I'll show you the image here. So you got Sleeping Beauty and Prince here and his horse over here. Um, this is where the owl and the birds take the prince's coat and boots and are wearing them. That, yeah, the detail, these would have been better, a little bit larger size. But once we get the drills on them, that can always change. But definitely not going to have as much detail in, like their faces as we would in a larger size. But hey, for what you paid. I'm happy and I'm excited to do these to see how, what the difference make once you get the drills on, if it's still easy to read. Um, or if you have trouble telling what the images are. So that's that one here. Let's look at the different colors. This one's gonna have a lot of different pretty pinks. We got some yellows, greens. Ooh, I love this color here. That's pretty. It's like a teal. There's some greens, like a yellow, like a green yellow. Pink. Pink, 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 gray. There's a nice purple over here on this side. You might be able to see it. But the drills look good. Some pinks and greens and some different muted yellows. Very pretty. The drills look nice. I mean, good quality. It looks like they're shiny. Shouldn't have any issues with that. And I like where they're packaged all in a string like this. Um, I never had to worry about any type of mishap of not having something, you know, not having the diamonds or enough diamonds. So that's never been an issue. So I'm going to roll this one up here. I'm going to locate my fourth package that I have to show you. And we'll take a look at that one. Okay, package number four. I knew I had four. It was right there on the shelf. Just didn't grab it. Oop. So here we go. This one is a little bit smaller size. Let's see if we can get it out. There we go. Okay. So knowing about the other images, and this one's a little bit smaller, I'm assuming um, <laughs> the detail in this is going to be about the same issue. So here we go. This one only came with one toolkit. Same toolkit though. So here we go. There's the drills. This one is an 80 by 30, so it'd be a 75 by 25. And this one is Peter Pan, Wendy, and John and Michael, John and Michael, and Tinkerbell flying. And then you have Neverland over here and the bridge. Because they are a little bit bigger, this one might not be too bad. The sky might just get a little bit jumbled, but still very cute. This one does have 23 colors. Same stickiness. Drill field as well looks um, the same. Very clear. Easy to read. And they stuck um, as far as like symbols on there. I didn't look at this or talk about this at the other ones. Um, but the symbols they chose are mostly letters. And I like that they've done like they have a lowercase b and the big b but they're different colors. So it won't be hard to tell them apart. And they're also not necessarily going to be next to each other. So it won't be hard to tell 
um, the difference. Sometimes when you use similar symbols or letters, they get hard to read. But again, drill field, very clear. And see, there's Peter Pan. But see how the you get up close, maybe not so much. Further away, we can tell. Oh, that's Peter Pan. <laughs> But for what um, the price of these, I'm very pleased and not upset or anything. And I knew they were a little bit smaller than what was probably needed for the detail in the images themselves. So that was a little bit to be expected. So here's the image for that one. We'll take a look at these drills. I love that green right there on the outside. Again, get this open. We'll go ahead and take this one out. The green is gorgeous. So a nice blue, green, some grays. This one's gonna be mostly uh, you know different shades of blue for the sky. Then you have some other colored peaches. But yeah, when they're packaged like this in the string, I've never had to worry about not having enough diamonds or missing diamonds. So yeah, this one has four bags of this number 21. So that's going to be majority. That must be A. Yep. But the drills look fine. I don't think I'm going to have an issue with that at all. I don't see a lot of trash or anything. They look very shiny very clean. Everything's there. So very nice. So there's are the images that I purchased. I will link everything so you can check it out. Um, new company, so I'm trying out for the first time. I'll definitely keep you guys updated when I do start working on one of them. Um, I am still working on Minion Love from Diamond Art Club. It's my current work in progress, but it, not a very diligent work. <laughs> I've had some other things going on and I've been making some other stuff so um, diamond painting kind of on the back burner but I am going to get back to it but I think I might um, work on something else for a little while. I have a few smaller images that I've shown you guys. My Yoda um, and I have another one and then I have these ones so I might take a break from that but um, keep me on you know Instagram I do have Facebook page as well all of those links are down below if you want to check me out on the social media and keep updated so you can see what I'm up to and what I've been doing so that's it that I had for today I hope you like the video please let me know what you think of the images or the company if you have any feedback if you've worked with them before and I look forward to the next one bye